That was blue and yellow by the used, and coming up is a box of, sp- of sharp objects here on Town One.
That was a box of full of sharp objects by the used, obviously, since I'm playing all the used songs today. But yeah, I remember listening to that when I was in high school. I remember watching it on MTV before my parents took it out of the cable. But it was a cool music video. It was a, like a live footage of the used playing this song, and I think close to the end of the song, you would see Burt McCracken scream really loud, and then afterwards he would vomit. Was it a pretty sight, but I d that's just what I remember about this music video that I saw of uh, a box full of sharp objects. And ironically enough, this song kind of reminds me of Park City. I don't know why, but it just does. Whenever I drive by Park City or something, it just remind the used songs just kind of remind me of that place, like the ski resorts there. And I don't know, it just feels like home to me, even though that is not my home. My home is Colorado. Kind of. I was only there until I was six or seven, I believe. But I still call that home because it's just my home away from this home, which I've been here most of my life. But it's okay. It's, Cedar's a good place. Can't complain. But yeah. Anyway, getting back to the show. Oh, got to talk about a movie that I saw. And before I say, say what movie that I saw over the weekend, please don't judge me. I won't judge you. But I saw The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo over the weekend. And it was a pretty good movie. I, I quite liked it. Um, it's definitely not appropriate for um, younger viewers for obvious reasons. Um, it's rated R for violence, language, and... There's some inappropriate scenes there that have to do with a man and woman. And it just, uh, like, it's got a good story. Um, what, it's based off of a book. I can't remember the author of the book, but I have a friend that's reading it. And after watching it and just hearing about it, I almost, I almost want to read the book. And I also, also heard that there's a trilogy with it. So I don't know if they're going to do a, a trilogy with the movie, though. I did hear that they did a version of uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo in England, and it didn't get a lot of good ratings on that one. And But the Americanized version that I saw, it got more ratings and was a lot better, I was told. And I haven't seen the foreign one, but I was told it was really not that good. And I like the story, though, because um, I don't want to spoil any endings, though, but... Um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to briefly talk about it. And um, it's basically about this guy that um, tries to solve this case of this murderer that he rapes and kills women. And it's not by random. Like, he actually does it for a purpose. And um, it's kind of sad. I won't go into details with that, but that's what the movie is basically about. And... The girl with the dragon tattoo, she helps him along the way, and I think her name is Liz Lisbeth? Yeah, Lisbeth, that's her name. It's a really good movie, but um, it's just got a lot of scenes, it's got a good story, but it's just got a lot of scenes in there that probably won't be appropriate for younger viewers, and with my little uh, thing on this, like, I would give it a rand list, like, it's a good movie for story and everything, but I would put it on the band list for um, the amount of scenes that are in there that have to do with a man and a woman. I won't go to detail with that. I can't on the radio anyway, but it's just not appropriate. But yeah, that's the movie that I saw, and I'm going to make better choices now because of that. And I kind of, I wish they would split the, or divide the R ratings. Like, they would have the, th have it in through three categories. They would have an R V rated R for violence, an RL for language, and an RS for sex scenes or nudity that would go beyond the borders of a brief glimpse of somebody naked. So yeah, I think that they should do that instead of just say like it's radar. Of course the ratings say why it's radar, but I think they should s divide the radar movies because I personally would go to if I were to go to a radar movie I would go just go for the violent ones because I've seen some movies that are radar just because of violence like there's no nudity in it there's no swearing in it at all it's just plain out violence Gladiator for example there's like one swear word in there but all throughout the movie it's just a violence and that's why it was rated R 
interesting fact about like um the lord of the rings what i learned is that um um, it would have been rated R because of the amount of violence in there, but because it's it wasn't rated R, it is because the orc blood was black. But if it was red, it would be rated R. So that's what I heard on IMDb. So I think that's cool that they do ratings that way. It's interesting, but that's how it goes, I guess. All right. Well, that was my little topic on the girl with the dragon tattoo if you want to see it i'm not going to stop you you can if you want to but that's just my opinion on that one i don't know what movies i want to see yet but i'll tell you later right now we're going to take a little break and listen to 